my sister needed a new computer and I was trying to consult her and actually picked the computer up by myself and it is this MacBook Air M1 and since I already picked it up and had it in my hands I thought hmm before I transfer her files back on this computer why don't I set it up for myself and just use it for a couple of days doing photo editing, video editing, everything exclusively on this one to see if these small lightweight uh, MacBooks with the new M1 chip or not so new M1 chip anymore are really that powerful for so little money and I was using it three days straight and afterwards went back to my 16 inch MacBook Pro with an Intel processor and I need to say I was blown away by the experience and I will now let you know what I yeah what I really liked what my findings were also some data and the few things I maybe didn't like so much I think everybody who follows a bit the new innovations in tech world has heard when in end of 2020 Apple released the M1s that compared to the Intel processors that they um, used to build in the computers before these computers were way uh, first of all faster but most importantly more quiet they had better battery life and they were not heating up so much and this one is not only quiet it's completely silent because it doesn't even include a fan and I knew all this but experiencing it this was kind of another level and it starts with small things that just if you open the laptop the, the login screen is immediately here with my computer there is always a small delay it's not big but once you notice this it's kind of hard to go back to this kind of delay it felt a bit if I can make this comparison after I was driving the first time a Tesla um, when going back to my mother's car with a combustion engine I was a bit like mm. This is so slow, how, how are people happy with this? So like I said, I wanted to test it for photo and video. So with photo, I'm usually using Fast Draw Viewer to uh, view and sort and most importantly delete all my images. And just because of the fact that in Fast Draw Viewer you can zoom in one to one, scroll through the images with basically no lag and in Capture One or Lightroom I always have a tiny bit of a lag or sometimes a longer lag if I zoom in one to one on one row then the next 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 and my Intel MacBook Pro was handling all of this perfectly well the problem was just the battery was draining quite quickly and second of all and this is more important I sometimes like to work on the couch and in summer if I'm just having shorts this MacBook Pro the Intel one was get giving so much heat that I could not do this for more than five minutes and this was completely different with the MacBook Air yes it got a bit warm after I don't know 15 20 minutes of use but not much warmer than my hands actually so it was really not bad and it was as well super fluid I had no problem with at all and when opening Final Cut Pro I actually realized it was more fluid than my 16 inch MacBook Pro and I then did some tests with exporting and while my 16 inch Intel MacBook Pro had uh, it took around 21 and a half minutes for a 10 minute 4k clip to export with this MacBook Air it was not even a third of the time it was seven minutes and that's kind of a crazy difference for me and the time is one thing but another nice detail with the MacBook Air is that I was still able to do some light background tasks like uh, surfing the web, checking emails, maybe writing a document while my MacBook Pro with the Intel processor seemed to be almost blocked for the time I was exporting this video. And for me that was really astonishing for a device that knew with two years of warranty I didn't even pay 900 euros or I think in the US it should be around 800 and the used you can pick them up even cheaper and there are also now the M2 MacBook Airs but for my sister this would have been a complete overkill I was already pretty sure of this in the beginning and after I tested this M1 I'm 100% sure if you don't do a lot of heavy video editing there is no reason to get anything faster than this actually 
Performance is one thing. How did I like the handling of the computer? Well, first of all, it's very light, so it's nice. The lap, the screen itself looks really good to me. Speakers are nice. I like the keyboard. The touchpad, of course, is great as on every MacBook I used so far. What I like is that it's actually not coming with a touch bar. Uh, I was not a big fan of this and it still has a touch ID. So there it basically ticks all the boxes. Now the question, should I buy one for myself since it could save me some time potentially and as we all know, time is money. Um, I think no for the moment because while I really like this computer and I think for many people it might be an excellent choice, it's not 100% what I'm looking for. Um, first of all, I did video editing, I did some photo editing but I didn't have a ton of programs open in parallel. I'm not sure if 10 8 gigabyte of RAM would still be enough. Uh, the hard drive with 256 gigabyte is too small for my taste. And if you start to upgrading these two components, you also look into a bit higher prices, of course. Um, furthermore, it just has two USB ports. So I can import from the SD, from the CF Express card from one. The other, I can put my external SSD. But then if you, I want to plug it on power, I'm out of uh, ports. Luckily, it doesn't need to be charged that often, but I think you get what I mean. Most importantly, I like to work a lot uh, on the balcony, on the couch, sometimes on the table and not always attached to my big monitor, sometimes even in the train. And for doing photo and video editing in these situations, a 13 inch screen is just too small for me. So I would really like to have another 16 inch and then we need to look at the M MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip which comes at significantly more, I mean, it costs significantly more money. So that's not an option now. I'm quite happy for my with my Intel MacBook Pro. And I also need to say I'm not doing this here full time. I'm doing a couple of YouTube videos. I'm doing some image editing, but I think most of the time I spend is not involved in rendering videos. So the time I would save, it's nice, but it's not so important that, that I would consider buying such a computer now. However, if you're looking for a new computer anyway, and if you say, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with a 13 inch, I think this could be a really nice bargain. I would also check out the newly introduced M2 MacBook Air if you want a bit more power, a newer design and some other benefits. And yeah, I hope you like this review. It's a bit different than what I'm doing usually on this channel, but I thought somehow image editing, yeah, it belongs to photography. So why not also include it here? So let me know if you like this type of co uh, content and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I would still be happy having a few more of you joining me regularly and hopefully see you soon. Bye.